Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. It may take more than two meetings to get to the bottom of the fishing controversy at the Hagatnya Boat Basin, and one lawmaker is trying to descale the surface. More than 50 local fishermen gathered at the Hagatnya Boat Basin Wednesday night in a meeting to discuss fishing policies at the marina. Frustrated fishermen shared their concerns and passionately defended their rights either as anglers or netters to be in the waters there, including Peter Uggen. Show me a place where you can put 50 anglers on the side of a rock to catch a two-light here. You won't. You go to Marito, you put five people, you hook each other. You're done. My only concern is this is where the two-light comes in and we can angle it using that uh, rod and reel. But many continue to say it's not an issue of who belongs there because they are all happy to share the waters and rather an issue of clarity. Local fisherman Peter Gervasio. Let's put it on the paper. You know, none of this he say or who say or what say. You know, they just need to get it together, put it in paper. Clarity. You know, and make it very clear to everybody, and there's no more loopholes. Some rod and reel fishermen continue to say let the current law stand, which does permit specific nets to be in the water, but for no more than six hours. Meanwhile, some netters continue to disagree, citing a now defunct memorandum from 2013 that says allowed them these rights. Senator Will Castro says he will continue to hold meetings with stakeholders and believes a compromise can be made within the spirit of the law. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Valerie Maige. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.